Hello everyone, Faisal Talpur here once again. Hope you guys are all keeping well. Okay, so um, today uh, I would like to share something with you which I come across quite often. Uh, and what that is really is uh, a lot of businesses, they approach me, they would like to grow, they would like to expand their business, they would like to scale up. Um, and one of the fundamental problems that they are facing is what I'm going to discuss with you today. So uh, these businesses, when they approach me, uh, you know, uh, with, the, with, the, with the end goal in mind for them to hopefully have, you know, double the revenue, or increase the the you know the income that they are getting from their business. Um, one of the first questions I ask them is, "Who is your target audience?" And um, that in itself is a very big topic. So I'm not going to go into that uh, at least for the sake of this particular video. But um, the second question that I ask them uh, literally throws them back, and that question is how many people do you think uh, know you in your marketplace? So that's question number one. How many people actually know you in your marketplace? So I'm sure, you know, if you are a business, if you're looking to get into business, you must define who is going to be your target segment of the market, right? So if they are people, you've got to define their demographics, you've got to define their age, you've got to define their characteristics, you've got to define, you know, uh, their behavior, their interests, you've got to define a lot of things. Otherwise, you will not be able to get to the right person um, at the right time. And that may mean you're wasting time, you're wasting money, you're wasting a lot of things. So, so there's a whole detailed exercise that we get our clients to, to do when we are trying to identify the exact target segment market for them. But coming back to the question, uh, the question is, you know, how many people do, do really know you in your marketplace? So that's one. And second, how many people in your marketplace know exactly what you do, right? Um, and the answer that I get most of the time is shocking, right? Uh, one of the recent companies I have been dealing with uh, the answer was no more than 50 people. Now, no wonder these businesses, of course, struggle because the exposure uh, to their marketplace is almost nil. Now, if you're running a business and let's say the size of the market is, I don't know, it could be anything. It could be 200,000 people, 2 million people, 200 million people, you know, or for that matter, you know, 20,000 people, whatever. Uh, what matters is that how many of those people who are your specific target segment, they know about you, they know about your business, and they know exactly what you can do for them. It's not merely good enough for them to know that you are a digital marketing agency, uh, that you are a property investment company, uh, or you are you know, for example, uh, a, a, a lender or a bank, right? What attracts us as humans is how can it directly benefit me? Okay, whatever that person is selling or buying, how can that particular product or service directly benefit me? Okay, um, and we have to be very, very specific about exactly who we are as a business, what we do in our business, and how is that affecting the lives of the people who we are trying to help and add value uh, for, right? Um, so, and this is the way this is the way to look at it. So, let's say let's take a number. Let's say you've got uh, your target segment market is let's say hundred thousand people, right? Now, there can be two different ways of looking at it. It could be you know those hundred thousand people. Uh, you know, literally um, uh, in, in one place, in one city uh, or in one country, or they can be spread across two or three different countries. Let's say that's your target segment market. Out of that target segment, how many of those people know of you and your business, right? Uh, let's say, you know, you should, you should, I would like to think if you are doing your marketing right, if you are doing your messaging right if you are going out to these people 
uh, to your target segment in the right way possible, then I would say you need to really blanket the entire market, right, for them to know uh, who you are, what you do, and exactly how you can benefit them. I repeat, who you are, what you do, and most importantly, how exactly can you benefit them. Uh, until you actually specify and spell these things out, uh, those people will never know exactly how are they going to be able to engage you as a company to help them, right? Um, so the answer, coming back to the initial question, the answer that I get is maybe I have got maybe 500 people or 1,000 people is what uh, I have got the entire exposure to. And out of those entire people that perhaps may know of me somehow or may know of my business somehow, um, maybe 100 of them specifically know, um, you know, exactly what I do. Now, if you work your math backwards, those 100 people who are, let's say they are your specific target market, even if they are your specific target market, their timing may not be right for them to buy from you. A very small percentage of those hundred people are going to actually say, yes, I'm ready now, you know, sell me whatever you've got right now. And of course, that small segment is typically 2%, 3%, 1%, or even 4 or 5%. Now, if you have got four or five sales happening at any point in time, naturally, your business will be struggling. Okay. Um, and it does not take a rocket scientist to figure this out, right? If you have got five people who would like to do business with you, that naturally equates to maybe perhaps 100 people or 200 people who know of who you are, what your business is, and how you can benefit them, okay? And naturally, that is a very small segment of your bigger chunk of your target segment marketplace, right? So what is the conclusion here? Right. I mean, what is the cure? What is the ultimate, um, uh, I suppose, pill that you need to swallow um, to increase or grow your business? Um, I suppose the natural answer to this is exposure. OK, you need to expose yourself more to your target market. Right. You need to go out more. You need to no matter what it is. Uh, and again, you know, different markets respond to different marketing behavior in a very uh, a different way. So you have got to see what is working in your market, right? Um, and that is the way you have got to approach them. That is exactly the way you've got to engage them. And you have got to increase your exposure for more people to know. And when more people know about who you are, what you do, and how you can benefit them, then naturally what will happen is that a small fraction of those of, of that target segment, when they are ready, when they mature, they are going to start to funnel down into your sales offering. So the easiest way to perhaps double your business is if you have got, I'm going to give you the super easy formula of perhaps even doubling your business, is if you have got, if you let's say you're closing 10 sales a month, I'm just giving you a round figure, Oh, it could be any, any, uh, that figure could be anything. It could be 100 sales a month, 1,000 sales a month, whatever that, that figure is. All you have got to do to double your uh, gross income or double your revenue, right, is you need to approach those specific people in your target market twice as much and twice as more, right, than what you have already got going on. So if 1,000 people know about your business, and out of those thousand people, 10 people are closing the sales with you every single month. And are those 10, 000, and those 10 people are giving you, for example, 10,000 pounds per month, right? Naturally, you need to work backwards and you've got to double the figure. As soon as you double the exposure, as soon as you double the figure, naturally your sales are going to be doubled, which means your revenue, your gross uh, revenue and your income will be doubled as well. Okay. Um, and... The title of this video is, you know, your exposure, the exposure in your marketplace is directly proportional to your revenue or your income. So that proves the point that the more people who know, uh, uh, the more people that know about who you are, 
what you do and how you can benefit them, the more people will come back to you and would like to do business with you. Okay, uh, it is literally as simple and as straightforward as that. Now, the last point, um, and the last point is very simple. It's not too difficult to grow your business if you just backtrack and see how you got those initial clients at the first place. So even if you have just got one or two or three clients, let's say you know, you're starting up and you do not have too many clients, you just have got to see where did you get those one or two or three clients from, right? And you have got to focus on that particular activity uh, who got those, you know, that, that activity which got you those clients, right? Um, and if you go back and try and do more of what you had done in the past, which resulted in you getting those one, two, three, however many clients, right? Naturally, that activity is going to start to pay off again and again and again, unless, of course, you know, your market has drastically changed and whatever you've done in the past doesn't work anymore. Okay. Uh, that is a discussion um, that we can have uh, on, a, on, a, on a separate note or separate video, whatever. Anyway, I hope um, this video has uh, made some sense. Um, uh, those who are struggling to grow their businesses, those who are struggling to uh, get more sales through, uh, I have given you a very simple formula. It's not rocket science. It's very, very, very basic, right? Uh, problem with a lot of us is we may know what needs to be done, but we never get it done, okay? It's the implementation, it's the deployment, and it's uh, the problem is getting it executed, right? So, you know, getting the execution part of it is where we lack most of the time. Anyway, once again, hope you guys, um, uh, this hope, hope this adds some value uh, and ho hope this has made some sense. Uh, for now, thank you very much. Keep on watching, um, just make sure you are tuned in to what I am trying to now get across to you guys because my idea for 2020 is I'm trying to get as much help uh, across uh, to most of you um, that I can. Uh, I provide consultancy and, 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 and strategic advisory and all of that. If you guys need any help, feel free to contact me uh, in the meantime. And of course, feel free to comment if you like this uh, or if there is uh, anything more that you would like to talk uh, you would like me to talk about. Uh, I can't talk today for some reason. Um, anyway, once again, thank you very much. Adios.